When you look at the structure of the formula, you start off with the primary herbs, and those primary herbs are herbs designed to target certain areas of the body, such as the respiratory system, uh, the mucosal of the sinus, sinuses, and digestion, and the liver. And then you have secondary herbs which support the ability of those main herbs to get to their target areas. And then you have a third layer of herbs which are designed to modulate the effects of, say, some of the other herbs, say, maybe one herb is a little too heating, or then you have a bit of uh, cardamom there to help cool that down a little bit. So it's, it's such a lot of thought that goes into the synergy of these herbs. And then, of course, the synergy of the overall product is that it's not really just one herb working by itself. It's all those 20 or 30 herbs and spices working in such a balanced way that you can't take uh, one herb and say this is the main herb. It's, it's the whole synergy of the process that goes on in the physiology that's so beautiful. In Ayurveda we look at the whole package. We want to look at digestion. How is your digestion? Now allo defense will help with that, but then digestion also depends on many things such as making sure you have your main meal at lunchtime, not overeating, chewing your food well, sit, eating in a settled manner, sipping a little bit of hot water with your meal, we don't want to be eating cold food and heavy foods and ice cream. We want to be eating lighter foods, nourishing food, more fresh fruit and vegetables with good spices. So it's an overall part of that package. The other thing we want to be doing is a bit of cleansing, uh, a seasonal cleanse, and that will be another topic some other time. But if you look in the current MAPI catalogue and on the MAPI website, the Maharishi Ayurveda website, there's some wonderful cleansers there for this time of year and it's the best time to do that process. We talked about oxidative stress, so taking a little bit of our flagship herb Amrit Kalash, which we'll be talking about in the future, and that is the way, one of the main herbs that seems to have a great effect on mopping up these free radicals and reducing the damage of oxidative stress. Uh, allowing the body to um, reduce pollutants what is your environment like? We know that if you're living in a house and you've got it shut up all throughout winter and what those pollutants tend to do is damage the fine mucosa of the respiratory tract allowing for the body to become more sensitive to pathogens or allergens. Another Ayurvedic technique that's very popular these days is called a neti pot. It looks like a little teapot but people actually use it as a nasal rinse. And a lot of good research is done to show that using the neti pot regularly also helps reduce allergens. So there's a whole package of things to do to prevent uh, seasonal allergies and allergy defense is a very, very important part of that package. It's really true that the quality of the herb that goes into it, even if it has the same identity and you're sure it's that herb, but the quality of that herb, when it was picked, Ayurveda even describes some herbs should be picked in the full moon, some herbs should be picked midday, some should be picked in the morning or the evening, and then how the herbs are dried. Some herbs like go to cola, if you dry that in the sun, it completely destroys the active chemical Asiatic acid. It be completely becomes ineffective as a therapy. So you have to shade dry it to preserve those effective elements. So Maharishi Ayurveda products follows these traditional recommendations of how to uh, grow the herbs or where to, where to pick them from, when to pick them, how to process them. And it, it has always put primary uh, emphasis on authenticity because doing things authentically according to the Ayurvedic text is what preserves the power of the herb.